is the Xfinity Sports Desk. A huge night in college sports. Round one of the NCAA tournament is set and several local teams are celebrating their matchups. <laughs> We are working for you with team coverage tonight. We will get to the Terps in just a minute. But first, Mauricio Casilla spent the evening with the Howard Bison. They are preparing for their first dance since George H.W. Bush was in the White House. They say good things happen to those who wait, and I'm sure a lot of Bison fans didn't expect to have to wait 31 years to be back in the NCAA tournament, but that's what makes this team so special. They defied the odds, and they're back in it right now. Coach Blakeney tells me they're going to enjoy the moment, but tomorrow it's all about focusing on what's next and preparing for Kansas. It's all smiles for the Howard men's basketball team. Sunday night, they celebrated their historic season with loved ones. They know how meaningful it is to have a program like Howard in the big dance. A legacy that has been a long-standing legacy of excellence and black excellence, not only in a DMV, but across the country. Getting here was anything but easy. When it mattered most, it was Jelani Williams, a hometown kid, who hit two clutch free throws to give the team the lead in the MEAC tournament final. How does he stay cool, though, under pressure from the line? He tells me his dad taught him to sing a lullaby in his head to calm his nerves. The only thing going through my mind as I got to the line, I took a deep breath and I started to sing as I went through my routine and uh, was blessed enough to make the two free throws. So crazy moment, crazy moment. And it was an extra special day for Marcus Dockery, another hometown kid. Best birthday present ever. He hopes young kids who grew up like him will be inspired. Me being from D.C. and growing up, and seeing Howard basketball and watching the program and being able to really be a part of a change, it really means a lot to me. Now, though, it's all eyes on Kansas. We got to get back and watch a lot of film. Uh, Kansas is a national, traditional, historic program. Again, the last time the Bison were in the NCAA tournament was 1992. For perspective, the top grossing movie that year in the U.S. was Aladdin. I'm sure the Bison men's basketball team is hoping that they can ride a magic carpet of sorts and advance in the NCAA tournament. Reporting in Northwest D.C., Mauricio Casillas, News 4.